You say tomato, I say tomato. You say non-organic, the FDA says genetically modified. Genetically modified foods are everywhere. For more than 30 years, GM foods have accounted for 40 to 70% of the average consumer's diet. But what is a GMO? It's not nature. It's a scientist in a lab taking the DNA from a virus or bacteria or a plant or an animal and putting it into the DNA of a plant or an animal. Prop 37 would require the labeling of certain foods as containing genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, to educate the consumer. The Right to Know campaign says voters have just that the right to know what's in our food. It's your right, you're buying this stuff, you're consuming this stuff, you're feeding this stuff to your children, and don't you want to know what you're eating? If Prop 37 passes, companies will be required to label all products containing GM ingredients. This will cost up to $100,000 per product in labeling and distribution, and that translates to an extra $400 spent on groceries per family every year. Opponents say the labeling is uneven, with genetically modified meat and dairy products excluded from the regulations. What's more is that three decades of studies by the FDA, USDA, and other major health organizations have shown no ill effects caused by GM foods in humans. The no on Prop 37 spokesperson was unavailable for an interview, but says GM products should not be feared. She says the proposition is totally misleading and flies in the face of scientific evidence. Genetically modified food is safe. Labels should be based on fact, not fear and misinformation. Experts say GM foods are 100% safe for consumers. There aren't any issues in safety, but the, the writers of the bill suggest that there are issues. And Clemens says GM produce has the ability to fight off drought and disease saving thousands of crops every year. GM foods save more than just plants. It improves crop yield. One farmer sells all GMO-free produce at an LA farmer's market. Even before the vote is cast, he's excited about the debate. The people ask him, they're afraid. They're afraid about the organisms, the modified organisms. But anyway, when I see that, I I'm motivated to keep in doing my own way because my business is going to increase, for sure. While GMOs are proven to be safe for munching, proponents still say California voters have the right to know when their fresh food is grown in the garden of science. Lindsay Becker, ATVN.